Okay, so today we're gonna be doing makeup on my beautiful sister, Gianna. Hi guys. We're gonna be doing a natural makeup look, a nighttime smoky eye, and then a black smoky eye. So I'm gonna show you guys how to transition step by step. Hopefully this goes well. I feel like it'll go well. You guys know I have been taking classes for beauty school, so this is gonna be a submission, sneak peek. Hopefully I do her makeup well, so maybe you guys want me to do your makeup. So we've already prepped the face. I cleaned her face using alcohol-free toner. We have moisturizer on, eye cream on, and some lip balm so her lips are nice and juicy when we get to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do the eyes first, just because if there's any fallout, we can go ahead and clean it up. Um, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I'm not really gonna be in this video, which That's is probably exciting. best for all of us because I look disgusting. Here you go. So I'm gonna prime her eye using some concealer. I'm just gonna put this on the eyes and then tap it in with my finger to warm up the product and really sheer it out. All right, we're gonna be using new brushes today. <laughs> we're gonna see. I don't even know what I just well. did. You'll see it later. Oh, sorry, out of focus. What's happening? Smashbox full exposure palette. I'm gonna take the ivory color and put it all over. What are you gonna say? I was gonna ask you like so is this like she gave you a specific look to make out of this specific like palette? Yeah. What what did she say? Like she just gave you a, a general look and you have to use these items to achieve it? So it's like watching a tutorial on YouTube. They show you how to do makeup looks on models okay. and then they ask you to recreate it. You can recreate it exactly or you can make it like your own little fun spin. I'm gonna make it my own thing. Can you look up for me really quick? I'm just putting this all over the lid. It's gonna help brighten up her eyes, make them look a little bit bigger, and make her look a little bit more awake. And that's also helping to set the concealer so that the rest of the eyeshadow blends a little bit better. I'm gonna take this taupe shade right here on a pencil brush, and I'm gonna just create a very light V on the outer corner. I'm just really deepening out this V, making it a big V. I like that it's gonna be like three looks that you could just like keep piling on, you know? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And their idea with this and teaching us this is that if you're at a photo shoot and you need to do three different looks, you can do it in like minimal amount of oh, time. That's cool. Now I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just blend this. It's dark brown shade right here. Pencil brush, same brush, smaller V, and really just start sculpting that outer third of the eye. Okay, now I'm just putting this underneath her eye, doing like a drop shadow. It's gonna make it a little bit more dramatic. Ivory again. You don't have to be in it. <laughs> I just wanted just to see. put it under her brow bone to just brighten that up. And I'm just gonna brush your brows up. Brush those brows, bitch. You know I love a good brow. You're like anti-brow. Look at my brows. How could I be anti brows No, you're like anti-doing the brows. Well, have you seen I feel my like brows? Every time I do your brows, you're like, I, I hate terrifying. Them. I hate when you do my brows. It's not even you, it's anyone. I think like my eyebrows do not need to be done. They just look too intense when they're done. An Inglot liner. This is just a pot liner. A synthetic brush. If this thing could zoom, that would be really nice. Thank you very much. Focus, you mean? Focus. Focus back on me, baby. A baby. My lips are so sticky from whatever you put on. It's like, do you want a different one? It's like a plumping gloss. Oh, I was gonna say, why are my lips a little hot? Tingles, food tingles. Okay, do you we're going ASMR. Yes. Oh my god, Mick does not like it. Remember when I did your um, wing and it was like the worst thing ever? Yeah. But you got a good pick out of it. Yeah, because I just did it in my I one just can't eye. do other people's wings. It's really hard. It's okay. Okay, can you look up for me? Keep your eye open. It's not just your nails. I know I really need to get my nails done, they're disgusting. I when, when you're winging out an eyeliner, you just want it to be a continuation of the lower lash line. So just imagine that. So just follow that. And I'm just giving her like the littlest baby wing. You have eyes like me, which sucks. What is that supposed to mean? Like I feel like you have hooded eyes. I do not have hooded eyes. They're a little hooded, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little hooded, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. They are not. Okay, I'm gonna take my pencil brush. Oh, oh sorry. there's like I black missed. liner all over me. And just smudge it out. I want the last one. I want you to make me look like a Glamazon prostitution. I'm gonna make you look like a prostitute. I'm actually gonna go in with the dark brown. This might be a really bad idea. And I'm just gonna <sighs> smoke it out a little bit with the brown. No, actually, I love this. 
I'm a little high may when it comes to makeup. And Is that supposed to mean high maintenance? Yeah. Is that the lingo? I don't know why I say that. Hi May. Oh, excuse me, I'm a little high may. <laughs> I'm gonna take a makeup remover wipe in a clean section and wrap it around my finger and I'm just gonna clean you off really quick. Any fallout? So I'm gonna use this tart. This is the base tape hydrating oh, primer. Yeah, this whatever so makes cool you feel better. All right, so where are you dry? Dry nose. Dry it's nose. Been peeling a lot of the summer. Okay, so we're gonna put this hydrating primer wherever she's dry, which is her nose in between. It's like oily here. Her eyes. Tart. This is the clean slate primer, and this literally fills your pores. It's crazy. I love this primer, and you want to just press it into the skin using your finger. Where do you put it? I put it, I put it where I have deep pores. So usually for most people, that's in your T-zone. So around your nose, like right here, around the mouth. I need a new neck also. You need a new neck? And sometimes I feel like, like oh, you need to get rid of your double chin. No, I'm saying, we talk about that a lot on the channel. We talk about my double chin a lot. No, it's like, you know, we don't uh, we don't have chins. We don't have chins. Handles. It's like annoying. It's like, I, yeah, I have a chin from the front, but from the sides. Like, yeah, okay. for sure. I look Squawk. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I look I'm gonna like be an turkey old turkey squawky well. bitch when I get in that age. I'm gonna be squawking left and right. Wanna try this? Is it good? It tastes like shit. <laughs> oh, I think that tastes good. Yeah, because you like soy milk too. I like shit coffee though. This is iced coffee, extra soy, two equals, and a shot of espresso. And a shot of espresso? Is that bad? No, it sounds delicious. We just had it. Huh? While the primer is sinking into your skin, let's go ahead and put some mascara just on the top lashes. I'm going to be using the Il Maquillage. This is their high volume and intense curl mascara. This mascara is bomb. I'm just if my, my <laughs> eyelashes like don't curl. I like the telescopic one. I don't have it right Do now. Do you want me too? I wish I had more eyelashes. You have nice eyelashes. Seriously? Much nicer than me, bitch. Look up. They honestly, that worked well. I think I need a new eyelash curler. <laughs> mine is like so mine's old. Bomb. Work. Mine's bomb. Where's tweezer from? man? I need a new tweezer. That's what I need. You know what I've been doing? I've been like filing my tweezer to make it sharper. Yeah. Is that normal? A little concerning. Okay, wait, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Filing your tweezer! <laughs> yes, it works. Life hack, baby. All right, bitch, we're gonna try this. Google. Can you look down for me? And I'm just gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Please don't say that. Well, yeah, that goes to my eye. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, why am I holding this? I don't know. I thought you wanted to look at it. Oh, yeah, I do. You said tweezer. Can you look down? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They look very feathery. Yeah, this is like a very, it gives like a wispy, it's like a wispy kind of lashes. What the wisp? NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I think you're like the same shade as me. Yeah. Yeah, we're like the same shade. Okay. This is in the shade Vienna. I'm gonna take one pump. Vienna. And we're gonna start with that. Taking a flat foundation brush. How could you ever blend with something like this? I don't know. We might go in with a sponge. I'm a big sponge believer. Right now. Foundation is just like God's gift to earth. You think? Not concealer? No, not concealer. Really? It's the same shit. What's um, your favorite foundation? I don't know. What do I have? I use like the Fit Me one. Yeah, that one's good. The matte and poreless one. I look like Adam's family. Dun -dun -dun. Yeah. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Fortune, did you see the new animated one? I'm talking to myself, honey. I'm talking to myself, honey. I'm taking a damp beauty sponge. It's clean, even though it doesn't look clean. And I'm going to use some setting spray to just help blend this out a little bit. And I'm just going to stamp this into the skin. We need to make this foundation work because, you know, I don't think this foundation is really agreeing with your skin. No, it's really not. I want to take off as much as I can first with this, like soak up the excess. Okay. I mean, we're definitely going to deepen up the skin with contour. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I feel like it'll be okay in the end. You just look a little scared right now. <laughs> I feel like that happens with makeup though. Yeah, it's a process. Let the process happen, people. CC cream from It Cosmetics. This is in the shade medium. CC not the baby. I'm literally taking that like a baby amount. I'm sorry, my camera is not focusing and we ain't got time for it to focus. So we're going. We got mad looks to do, bro. I will list all the products in the description box. Yeah, that's better. 
Make sure you click subscribe when you're there, yeah. bitches. And hit the ring, bell button. Oh. You know what bell that button. is? The bell button? Does it notify you? It's gonna notify you every time Fortune posts a video. Yes, it is. And you need to be in the know, people. I'm going back in with that sponge, and I'm just gonna blend the two together. I feel like that looks much better. Yeah, we're blending, baby. Blend it up. Blend it up. What'd you get to blend in? <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah, that was a little nice. blending jingle. I like your blending. A jingle. little jingle while you blend. Ardell glam touring. I'm just using the contour side. The highlight side is trash. All right, let's look at your face. You have a cute face. Okay, thank you. You have a cute nose. I have though. a big nose. Not really, you think? I don't know. I feel like certain angles it's big, and then it sometimes looks cute. We're gonna fix your chin woes. Yeah, fix my chin. This is like the best contour. Put it like a sexy skeleton. It blends like, look, it like takes no time to blend it out. Wow. Wow. And it's like $12. Where's that from? Sally's, you want one? I'll get it for you the next time I go. Yeah, it's really nice. It love is it. really nice, isn't it? I like the color too. It like is so perfect. Wow, I love it. It does blend really well. And then when I'm contouring, I do bring it onto the apples of the cheeks. You want to blend it up to like lift the face. Okay. And I find that when you put it here, it makes it a little bit more natural looking. Oh, it really does blend very easily. It does. After the nose, I'm going to pinch my sponge. And I'm just going to pat it in. Curious, maybe. What? Curious, maybe. You're just like patting it. You just like went around. Yeah, yeah, I just drew two lines here, here. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use my Tarte Tape Shape here, and I'm gonna put some here. And that's where I'm gonna put it. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna move it around. But I don't like to use too much concealer. I find that it gets cakey. And I don't fucks with concealer. Really? No. That's interesting. I just like whenever I use it, I just look so white under my eyes. I just don't like it. Maybe you're just using the wrong one. Probably. Remember when you used to tell me I was trash at makeup? Well, you never used to like do makeup. I mean, you always did, but I feel like you definitely are really good at makeup now. You were not good at makeup when you were younger. Going in with the sponge. Like, did you wear makeup to high school and shit? No. Okay, so like what? I feel like it was like a new found, not new found passion, but like yeah. you were more into fashion when we were younger and now you're more into beauty. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like you're good at both, but beauty you're better at just because oh, fashion's wow. really hard it's like expensive it's constant. and it's it's very saturated i mean both are yeah they really are but fashion's really tough because you just have to keep buying clothes at least makeup it's like you spend you know once and you can make a bunch of looks out of nothing and it's a little more creative like yeah 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 fashion, fashion is very like whatever. nobody can wear the same thing twice anymore it's like crazy yeah and, and like, I'm just not about that life. I can't do that. I don't have that in me. I don't have the money. And everyone wears the same shit. Like, even if they don't wear the same thing, it's like all the same trends. At least makeup, I feel like everyone can, can do that. anything you want. Concealer in the center of your face to bring it forward. It's going to help play a role in the contour. Bring this section forward. And then anything that we contoured, that shadow brings it back. Lightly set the face. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder because this shit is the shit. This shit is the shit. You need to make sure the concealer isn't sitting in the fine lines because if you set it in your fine lines, then it's going to be there all day. So if try you set it in your fine lines, it won't be fine by the end of the day. Yeah, so try not to really make any facial expressions for a minute. So I'm just putting some on your forehead, down your nose because you said you're a little oily around the mouth and the chin. I like to bake because it's really gonna chisel the cheeks even more. And if you put the bake down and then put the bronzer on, if you put the bronzer in a section that, you know, you don't want it, it helps to catch it. And I'm gonna do a very light bake, nothing crazy. If you have creasy under eyes or textured under eyes, the best thing to do is to set it with a damp sponge rather than setting it with a brush. More. Because I find that it, really pushes the powder in there instead of laying on top because when it lays on top emphasizes. it emphasizes yeah the wrinkles i'm gonna take this bronzer this is the bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer in the shade golden gal i love this bronzer it's super nice i'm just gonna pat this over where i contour so this is just gonna deepen up the contour a little bit more make her look a little bit more chiseled Chiseled, honey. Now I'm just gonna dust off the bake, taking the translucent setting powder brush that I used. 
I'm gonna use the Madison Miller Ofra palette. This blush and this highlighter, the one that's not broken, are bomb. I mean, do I look like a fucking sexy bitch on the camera or no? I think you do. Set your whole face. Anastasia Beverly Hills Emrezi highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter. My favorite. I like this one. I almost look like a beautiful angel in your camera. You do. Forever Walnut. My battery's dying. <gasps> I have another battery charge though. To, ready to go. All right, guys, and this is look number one done. I think you look so pretty. Honestly, can I say, I know how to beat a face. Like, your face looks gorgeous. Okay. All right, let's move on. We're going to do an evening look. Shimmery brown right here on flat brush. And we're just going to put this all over the eye. So now we're going to make this darker. Is that like what we're doing? Yeah. A darker look. I'm going to take the pencil brush. I'm going to go back into the dark brown that we've been using. Make this darker and give it more of a deeper V than what we did before. And I'm going to get it all over the lash line. Do you want me to get that for you? No, I got it. A deep V, if you will. Blend it out. Blend it out. I'm just elongating the outer corner. You know this way? Thank you. Making it more of like a cat eye effect. Now we're gonna put some black. Okay. We're gonna dot it along the lash line to make your lash line look a little thicker, give it a little bit more drums. A lot of drums, honey. A little bit more of that black, and I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner. Flat brush, synthetic flat brush. We're gonna go back into this liner that I know you love so much. I look like a fucking model, okay? You do. I feel like your eyes look really good. Should I get into modeling? I'm just gonna put this on your lash line. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It is. Does that I bother I'm very you? trusting. No? I feel like someone else would bother you. You're fine. When she blinks, her upper waterline doesn't have liner, so it's going to pull the liner from the bottom. Oh, so no. we need to do the top as well. This might be a little uncomfortable, but it's going to be fun. Right. Close your eyes, and I'm just going to lift it like this, and I'm just going to like flick it underneath here. This is like a bad bitch. Bad bitch alert. And this yeah. is like, she's cool. She's cool. She's like done. This she's is like put crap. together. Okay. Doing the same thing on the other side. Look number two. And this is our nighttime glam. I really love this look on you though. This is like a really pretty look for you. I feel like you should wear this to my wedding. Okay. Maybe we'll do your makeup for my wedding. You don't think this is too heavy for your wedding? No. What? Oh, I don't know, I'm just asking. It's beautiful. I'm really giving them all the angles right now. Yeah, give them all the angles. Give them to them, give them to them. Mm. Ah, ooh, work okay. it, yeah. That's All right, it. I'm going to take that synthetic brush, again, the flat one that we used, that same liner. We are putting liner all over your eye, just on the lid. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. We're oh good. shit, we're getting dark, honey. Yeah. Black, honey, black. I love it. I'm just going to smoke this out with that pencil brush. Holy shit, we got dog. Yeah, it looks good though, I think. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to take the black shadow and pat this over that because you don't want to sweep it because it'll get all over the face. So we're just... Are gonna you going to finish this entire eye before around. you do the other one? Yeah. And this is going to set that eyeliner that we put on. I'm going to take that same blending brush, dark brown, and I'm going to put this right above where that black is. I always like... Like when celebs have their makeup like this, so like when it's like maybe not black, like the whole eye is like deep brown. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with the blending brush. And I'm just gonna blend this with my clean blending brush. One of the dark side, honey. Okay, you know what? We need a good blend out here. I'm gonna take a different blending brush. That one feels very blendy. Yeah. I like these other trashy ones I have. Okay, to make our client happy, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix up that corner because if I hear you say one more thing about the corner, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna take some tart tape shape on my little <laughs> tart tape shape. It's like <laughs> it's a ridiculous name. I can't even say a tape shape. 
I don't get it. What is that supposed to mean? Like as if you had tape on your face? I'm gonna take, I don't know. I'm gonna take <laughs> it with this little brush. I'm gonna have to watch. Look away. Look up. Where is that brush that we had? Oh my goodness. All you do is look at the It's gonna be okay, little eye. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> He's so sad. This is so white. I think that helped, I guess. Yeah, it helped a lot, I feel. Are you satisfied? Yeah. More so? I'm gonna take this Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Smoky Storm. This look is like really pretty. Like I'm like a, I don't know. I love it. Pretty. Mm hmm Look up. So this is the Carbon Black Eyes Done. And I think now we need to just give you a red lip because that's my last homework assignment that I have. So, it looks so good. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video showing you guys three different steps. If you would like to see more videos of me applying makeup to other people, and you, obviously, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. I hope that you had a good time. Thanks so I much for coming. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I had a great time as always. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.